how would she have died if I could have chosen? Yeah. Um, yeah, I often do talk about the fact that I sort of had a fantasy of um, just having her have an ending, some kind of ending. Um, obviously, you know, I, I wanted it to be something quite epic. I didn't just want her to, you know, I didn't want her to just be shot in, in battle or something. Something kind of epic. I think I mentioned to my dad something like if they were starving, if, you know, if we if we were stuck somewhere and I would get my kid, I would be shot and I would have my kids like have to eat, <laughs> have to like eat me to survive, or something like that, like sacrifice myself. Um, my dad was like, listen, I like brutal stuff, but that is disgusting. Get a grip. I was like, I'm sorry, you should dad. not be making television <laughs> yeah. shows. I was like, I'm not a writer, I'm, I'm just an actor. Um, so that didn't go down well. So yeah, I would, I probably would have just liked some, you know, something quite dramatic, something quite cool. I loved uh, Raga, um, who plays Gunnhild. I thought her death was absolutely stunning. Where she like drowns herself and goes, I mean, I would cry every time I watched that. And that is so beautiful to have a kind of ending like that. But I suppose the fact that she lived on is quite nice in my head because it's like she's probably still living somewhere happily ever after. Um, so I was, I was happy with the ending, yeah.